Hi everyone, how are you doing this evening? We're gonna start in a few moments. I just wanna get a, do a sound check. You can hear me, give me a yay. Type it in, because we're gonna do a lot of typing today. This is the reading and writing section, so I wanna find a balance here, but but give me the yays. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start it. We're gonna start. Uh, what I what I did with this packet is I sort of combined the reading and writing sections. I, I want to give uh, I want to do both. I want to do something where uh, I can do something in the first half that's going to help for the second half. So I'm hoping if you're if you if you came to the writing section only that you're participating now because I didn't want to have to to redo some of the the stuff that we're going to do now. We're going to go through a passage. Hopefully, we'll be able to answer some reading comprehension questions and then write a summary passage on it. So that's that's the goal of today. But I, I also I want I want to start, you know, in thinking about communication and literacy. I, I'm gonna yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go over the six questions. But those are the same six questions that we did during yesterday's session. Um, but I want to start before I go over the six questions for reading and before we do the summary, I want to go back to this one right here, okay? Uh, who's taken the test? Who has taken the communication literacy? Yes? Just real quick, shout out your scores. What have your scores been? Type type them in. What have you been getting? Okay. Give me some more. 220s, 230s. Okay, so let's just take a let's maybe we can start there real quick. Just thinking about these scores, just thinking about your scores on the MTELs based on what I'm seeing here. I'm just gonna go to a separate page real quick. I'm gonna draw a quick diagram. And in this, think of this as uh, as a mountain. And the top of the mountain here, think of this as 300 points. That would be like a perfect score. And then where it just starts to get really tough, you know, the snowy part, that's the 240. That's the passing. And I want you to think of that on this test. We talked about this. Uh, the 240 is 80%. Technically, it should be 80%. But for you, what was the percentage we said that you have is that's a passing score for you? on the reading exam. What's the reading exam? Yeah, it's it's like 84%. I know, so it's it's even more, you, you have to get 240, but, but in order to get the right amount of multiple choice questions correct, I think we said you have to get 35 out of the 42, and that boiled down to 35 over 42 was what? What was the reduced fraction there? Five out of six of those right, so that's that's a little higher than 80%. So you got to do a little bit better than 240. But I want to draw these lines here, okay? Now some teachers they held up they that they're at the 236 range. Very close. Some teachers are at the 230s. Some teachers are at the 220s. Some teachers are at 150. Um and this is important, okay? Who's taking it for the first time in this group? Just real quick, first time, never taken it before. I am, I am, me, never, first time. Okay, there's first time for everything. I feel like this is one of those exams, the communication, literacy, the reading and writing, where teachers do uh, much better than the others because it's much more closer than the SATs or the GREs. It's some, very similar to something you've already had. Uh, you could use the reading comprehension and writing exams on those other exams to help you in your studies. But, but here's the thing, okay? In the group yesterday, I, I definitely feel like uh, there are some teachers that are here in the 230s, very, very, very close. They can smell it. They're like, I'm only one or two questions away. And then I also know that there's teachers, you know, under 200 or 200 or 150. And, and it's sort of, it, it, what it means is that this group here, you want to overshoot the mark, okay? And you should, you should do a couple things to overshoot the mark and, and never have to take it again. And this group here that's 200 or below 200, be okay. Be okay with, you might not get to the 240 this time, but if you can turn a 200 to a 230, or if you're at a 180 and you can turn that to a 230, that's unbelievable. So, so be okay with that, okay? Because right now at 200 or 150, this, this might take a couple jumps. And, and that's, uh, that's why I'm going back to this here. I'll go back to the presentation, okay? Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. 
If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.